Here are five updates on Vision OS 26 at WWDC you need to know. Vision Pro now natively support Insta360 360 video like this one and Canon 3D 180 footage right in the files and photo apps. No more working arounds, no more third party player, just open and play your immersive content directly inside Vision Pro. I said this was coming and now it's finally here. If you have been waiting to create immersive content for Vision Pro, you already have the camera. And if you want to learn how to edit 360 or 180 video for Vision Pro, we have got a full series of tutorial to help you get started right here. Next up, Adobe just launched a native Vision OS app based on Adobe Premiere Pro. So you can now edit and preview spatial video shot on your iPhone or Canon spatial lens directly inside Vision Pro. This is a massive shift for immersive post-production. And we have a tutorial about that coming next. Third, Apple introduced the concept of spatial web. Safari now uses Apple Intelligent to convert flat image into 3D spatial. So you can literally drag through the object from a website into your environment. This changed how we built and interact with the web. Four, spatial wedges are now part of Vision OS. Pin an app like a clock, calendar, music, and even your panorama photo anywhere in your space. Your room become a dynamic workspace or memory wall. Fifth, spatial persona get a visual overhaul. More natural movement, realistic lighting, and better facial detail. The uncanny valley is finally gone. Local Sherpa is here now. Watching immersive concert or spatial film like the Metallica concert in the same room with your friends and family. Now is a good time to buy the second Vision Pro for your loved one. Two new spatial accessories just added. The Logitech Milk Stylist and the PlayStation VR 2 controller. That's right, Sony and Apple are officially working together. This could be the start of something big. If PlayStation VR title become Vision Pro compatible, Apple instantly become a serious player in gaming. And let's be honest, if Vision Pro won PSVR games, it become a no-brainer for gamers and a real reason for Meta to worry. Apple is clearly investing in turning the Vision Pro into a full-feature spatial computer, not just for media, but for work, play, and the web. If you want to deeper dive into any of this, editing workflow, spatial gaming, and multi-user Vision Pro setup, let me know in the comment down below and follow for more insight as we test everything in the upcoming Vision OS 26.